Hello, my name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego, and today I'd like to talk about using ArcGIS for AutoCAD to view our aerial photos within AutoCAD. So what this is, is this is a free product, ArcGIS is a free product that's released by ESRI in order to use AutoCAD as a client for ArcGIS server service. So in much the same way, like web applications, which, are, um, which use the browser as the client, to view ArcGIS server services. This allows us to make requests for aerial photos or other information um, through the familiar AutoCAD interface. Um, so there's no reason, no reason to, to leave AutoCAD to gain access to your aerial photos or anything like that. Um, so it's just plain old vanilla AutoCAD. It must work with any of the full versions. It doesn't work with AutoCAD Lite. Um, but once it's installed and configured, uh, it's just as easy as zooming to an area that you're interested in getting uh, your service for. Clicking this button to open a map on, on this is the ArcGIS for AutoCAD toolbar. And then clicking this favorites, we've configured it to add these two services. These are aerials. This is the Tidelands map book. All of these other services are connected to ESRIs. ArcGIS online program, um, but we want aerials from our from our internal service. So it's just clicking that, and now what it's doing is it's sending a request to the server for an, a new an image for the area in the extent that we requested, and it gave us a response. So we have this this aerial that came in. The first step I I do is turn off this uh, dynamic button here. What this does is it it sends it if it, the dynamic button is checked, it sends a new request every time you change the extent of your of your your your, your the area of your drawing. So and that can be kind of annoying as a CAD user. You want to zoom in and out really quickly, and you don't want to wait for it to to fulfill the request every time. So what I do is um, just unclick that, and then um, as you can see, the resolution on this image is not very good if you zoom in. So what you can do is make a new request for the image in, as a more, more, in a more zoomed in way. So now you can see, now this is pretty good imagery. Now we're working, here's a person walking around, here's a sunroof of a car. So that's a one an easy way to understand the resolution issue associated with ArcGIS for AutoCAD, which is you need to make the request for the area that's on your screen. Um, and it's very easy to just move up to another area and make a new request for the same service. It's great for uh, the our workflow at the port because we're constantly zooming around. We might work there and then move over here, and it gives us very easy access to our aerial photos. It's much easier than adding in the tiles, which is the other the other option in terms of working. The tile option has its own benefits. Um, what I wanted to do here is also point out the coordinate system. Uh, information here. Our map, which is the aerial photo, is in Net A3 State Plane Zone 6 feet, and our drawing is as well. Uh, so they, they both line up. Um, when we connect to an ArcGIS online service, it's going to be in a um, world coordinate system, so it's going to reproject on the fly, but that's only occurring because we've defined our our, our drawing as Net A3 State Plane Zone 6. If it's not defined. Um, the the aerial or the service that you connect to won't line up. So you might need to assign a coordinate system, which you can also do in ArcGIS for AutoCAD. There's an extensive help if you if you collect if you uh, click this help, which is which is very useful um, to build upon the knowledge in ArcGIS for AutoCAD. Um, so let's connect to an ArcGIS online service as well. So uh, ESRI releases their own imagery, which uh, they have this i3 prime world imagery. They also have this as the uh, content sharing program imagery. Um, and there's another imagery in here. 
the ESRI imagery world 2D. But I think this i3 prime world imagery is the best one, uh, at least for the San Diego area. There's also street map world 2D, which is similar to like a Thomas Brothers kind of information. And there's a uh, census information, all kinds of all kinds of other uh, worldwide topo information that could be real useful for contours and that kind of thing that you really have at your fingertips. Um, of course, this requires that your engineers follow some spatial standards. If they're working at zero zero, um, this is not going to work. So uh, it's it's a little it's a little tricky. But let's connect to our i3 prime world 2D service. So now we're making a request to ESRI's ArcGIS server instance, which is called ArcGIS Online, to get the imagery. <clears throat> and this is one of the major advantages to using ArcGIS for AutoCAD, because all of a sudden we have access to aerial photos within AutoCAD for the whole the whole world, which is which is really amazing and and useful. Um, so it's not only dependent upon our server; it's dependent upon um, it becomes dependent upon their server, and uh, and it's it it's, has been fairly reliable. Um, I did want to point out here that now that we've added in this i3 prime world, it's in a world coordinate system WCS WGS 1984, and our drawing is in NAT A3, <coughs> and it's reprojected on the fly and rendered on the screen in the proper lo proper location. So I wanted to run through a quick, uh, let me disconnect from both services, or just from this i3 prime service uh, real quick. To connect, you just click this, uh, this connect. Now we're only connected to the ArcGIS, um, our in-house 2009 aerials. So let's say we have a consultant who's doing some work, and we want to send them an aerial photo. But we don't want to send them the whole tile, first of all, because it's large and we don't want to set up an FTP uh, site, but also because we only want to give them the information um, that they really need to do the work. So we're going to assume that they're working on this, this island here. So we're going to uh, refresh our map so that we get, we get the proper image. And let's actually, let's actually move over a little bit here. Because here's the here's the pier, so we want to include that information, um, and the water. Here's the water. So we want to we want to send them just this image and this drawing. And how how I would do that is I would use this button here, disconnect and convert to convert to image. Uh, I'm going to save this as uh, I'm just going to call this image. And save it to my desktop. It saves it in PNG file format, press save, and what it's done is it's disconnected from the service, and uh, so we can close out Arc ArcGIS for AutoCAD, and now you, we can send this to somebody uh, who is either using Light or who doesn't have ArcGIS for AutoCAD, and they'll have access to this image as a picture. Uh, basically, what I would do is an e-transmit, and it would it would zip it all up and send it out as an email. Uh, I would first move this to the back so that it was in, in the back of the the drawing. Anyway, I think that's that's most of uh, what I wanted to cover. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My name again is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego. And um, my phone number is 619-400-4778. And my email is A-I-S-A-A-K at portofsandiego.org. We're very excited about the Port GIS program, and I hope you are too. Thanks. Bye.